Uh, the New York uh, Times has come out with a great editorial. Um, it's about the deep state. Now, Stu, what's the New York Times uh, opinion of the deep state? What has it been? It's not even real, Glenn. What are you talking about? That it's deep not, state it's is not nothing. real. It's it's fake. It's a, it's it's not a real. creation of conspiracy theorists like you. Who just you know some yeah. fever dream that you have right. to explain all the problems Correct. that you've created yourself? Right. Correct. Amen. Well, here's the New York Times opinion of the deep state. It turns out the deep state is actually kind of awesome. As America closes in on a major election, mistrust is brewing around the mysterious government entity. That's now denounced in scary sounding terms, the deep state, the swamp. But what do those words even mean? Who exactly do they describe? Well, we went on our road trip to find out. And as we met with the Americans who are being dismissed as public enemies, we discovered that they are us. They like Taylor Swift. They dance bachata. I guess I don't know it, so I don't dance that. They go to bed at night watching Star Trek reruns. They go to work and they do their jobs, saving us from Armageddon. Sure, our tax... Can you imagine if, if we said Donald Trump is going to save us from Armageddon, what they would say? Sure, our tax dollars pay them, but as you'll see in the video, what a return on our investment we get. When we hear deep state, instead of recoiling, we should rally. We should think about the workers otherwise known as our public servants, the everyday superheroes who wake up every day ready to dedicate their careers and their lives to serving us. These are the Americans we employ, even though their work is often invisible. No, it's not. That's why we know that they're existing. It makes our lives better. No, it's not because we usually don't notice when things are better. We only notice them when they're bad. If Donald Trump is reelected and enacts Schedule F, that could change. <laughs> oh, yes, please. He would have the power to eviscerate the so-called deep state. Are they calling for evisceration of people? Did you hear that, Stu? Let me read that again. I don't think there's any other way to read that other than they're encouraging him and their people are cheering it on that he would take a knife, stick it in somebody's guts, pull out all of their organs and entrails, eviscerating how many thousands and millions now of people. Is the New York Times saying they want to eviscerate? I don't. Wow. Well, he would have the power to eviscerate the so-called deep state and replace our public servants with people who work for him, not us. In the video above, you'll see a few of our hardworking American public servants. We hope you'll agree that they're not scary at all. In fact, they're kind of awesome. That's the New York Times. Now, I just want to point out that they have said forever the deep state doesn't exist. Now it does exist, but it's kind of awesome. Kind of like, mm, I don't know, CRT. It doesn't exist in your school. Oh, well, it does, but it's not what you say it is. It's actually kind of awesome. DEI, it doesn't exist. What are you talking about? It's a conspiracy theory. Okay, well, it does exist, but it's kind of awesome. ESG. That's not real. That doesn't exist. Okay, it's real. And it might be bad. Okay, it's bad. Well, it's, it's what we're saying it's bad, so we're going to say we're stopping it, but we're not actually stopping it because it's kind of awesome. How about, how about the cries for $25 uh, 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 an hour minimum wage? 25 bucks. Remember when we all said that was crazy and everybody said, well, that's just Bernie Sanders. Or just, really? Mm -hmm. You know, health workers in California? Yeah. Uh, how much are they getting? 25 bucks, aren't 20, they? Yeah, 25 bucks an hour. 25 bucks an hour, yeah. So and healthcare workers now have it in California. Um, Seattle's paying uh, $26 for a sandwich if it's delivered to your house. 
by Uber because of what the state has done. And Barbara Lee now is not saying $25 because that was crazy. Now in her Senate campaign, she's calling for $50 an hour minimum wage. It's kind of awesome. Gender mutilation of our children. You know, that's not happening. Okay, it is, but it's really good for kids. Oh, there's no pornography in our public school libraries. Well, there is, because madam, 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 we are in a city council meeting. You cannot read that. Because it's kind of awesome. Government censorship, that is not happening. That's just a right-wing conspiracy theory. We're not censoring social media or shutting people down. We're not involved in that. Okay, yes, we are. And now that you're on to us, we think you're violating our First Amendment right to speak. Oh, my gosh. How about inflation is transitory? You're too stupid to understand that you're not really paying higher inflation. To now, what the, what's happening this week? The Fed has now said, yeah, 2% inflation, that's not really a target we can hit. Uh, maybe 3 3.5% inflation every year. Oh, okay. I thought you had that under control. Oh, abortion. Then nobody is saying abortion all the way up to birth and then some. Oh, yes, we are, because it's neat. It's awesome. We should shout our abortion. And one of my personal favorites... We are not banning gas stoves. Okay, yes, we are, but it's awesome. Look at their pattern. So now they know that everyone knows the deep state. What is the deep state? It's not awesome. And it's not just your neighbor, okay? The deep state is a... Is a a blob that you don't elect, you don't know who they are, that will make new regulations without going to you or Congress. They'll make re- um, uh, regulations. For instance, you now have to register with the Treasury. If you're a small business owner, you have under in, uh, 20 employees, you now have to fill out all kinds of forms and file it with their criminal uh, a division of the treasury making small business owners feel like a criminal. And if we miss anything or we don't do it right or anything changes like our address and we don't notify the treasury, we could go to jail for 10 years. That kind of stuff. Or here's one. We're all going to be driving electric cars by 2035. That, that didn't go through Congress. That didn't go through Congress. That was just pencil pushers and the president. Hey, you know what? You can find that regulation. Go ahead and, yeah, find that regulation. I know we can, I know we can, you know what? Let's tell people that we're not debanking people, and then we'll debank them. And then when they find out that we are debanking people, we'll just say, oh, well, yeah, but we're doing that to protect the country. Because there's these extremists. No, the extremists are the ones that are pointing out the Constitution doesn't give you the right to do these things. The deep state is a group of people that do not care about the election because they're not elected. They just do whatever it is they want to do in their agency, no matter who the president is. Remember, last time, the State Department fought against Donald Trump all the way. They were sabotaging him in almost every agency. The agencies work for the president. They're part of his cabinet. He oversees the administrative arm. So if you're not working for the president, who are you working for? Well, I'm working for the American people. No, uh, constitutionally, that doesn't work. Constitutionally, you're supposed to be protecting and defending the Constitution, which means you should read it. And in that, you would see that the CEO of our country that runs the administrative state is the president. 
And there are checks and balances with Congress. You don't work for Congress. You work for the president. And he hopefully is working for the American people, not some, I don't know, energy company in China, let's say, just off the top of my head, nobody in particular springs to mind.